Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this exclusive and extensive interview with Captain Kay, the former United States Marine who claims to have spent 17 years safeguarding a human colony on Mars. Captain Kaye, we're thrilled to have you here today to share the incredible details of your journey. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here and delve into the depths of my experiences on Mars. Let's begin by painting a vivid picture of Mars. Could you describe what the Martian landscape looks like and how it feels to be on the red planet? Certainly. The Martian landscape is a mesmerizing blend of rusty reds and oranges, with vast stretches of arid deserts and rocky terrain as far as the eye can see. Endless plains and towering mountains create a dramatic backdrop against the crimson sky. The air is thin, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, and the gravity is about 3080 of Earth's, making movement feel lighter and more effortless. Mars has a captivating beauty that is simultaneously harsh and breathtaking. Creating oxygen on Mars sounds like a remarkable feat. Could you explain how the colony managed to generate a breathable atmosphere? Oxygen generation on Mars was a complex process crucial for our survival. The colony employed advanced technology to extract oxygen from the Martian soil using in situ resource utilization or ISRU. This involved extracting oxygen from the carbon dioxide, rich atmosphere through chemical reactions, ultimately producing breathable air. It was a remarkable achievement that sustained life within the colony. Traveling to Mars is an incredible undertaking. How long did it take for you to reach the Red Planet, and what can you tell us about the technology on the spaceship? The journey to Mars lasted approximately nine months. We embarked on a state of the art spacecraft equipped with advanced propulsion systems, life support systems, and shielding against cosmic radiation. The engineering marvel ensured our safety and comfort during the lengthy interplanetary voyage. Gravity on Mars is significantly different from Earth. Could you describe how it feels to experience the lower gravity on the red planet? The lower gravity on Mars creates a unique sensation. Walking feels lighter and objects are noticeably easier to lift. Movements are more fluid, and jumps can take you higher and farther than on Earth. Adjusting to the lower gravity pose challenges, as our bodies have evolved for Earth's gravity, but eventually we acclimated to the Martian gravity. Weather conditions on Mars differ vastly from Earth. Could you give us a glimpse into Martian weather patterns and their impact on daily life? Mars experiences extreme temperature variations and intense dust storms. Winter temperatures can drop as low as 195 degrees Fahrenheit, 125 degrees Fahrenheit, 125 degrees Celsius, while summer temperatures reach a relatively mild 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Celsius. Dust storms, some engulfing the entire planet, pose challenges to visibility and communication. We adapted to these fluctuations and took necessary precautions for the safety of the colony. After spending 17 years on Mars, how did you make your journey back to Earth? Could you describe the return process and what it felt like to leave the red planet behind? Returning to Earth marked a significant transition after such a considerable time on Mars. We boarded a specifically designed spacecraft equipped with life support systems and technology for interplanetary travel. Departing from the Martian surface filled us with a mix of nostalgia, excitement, and a sense of leaving a place we had come to call home. The return journey lasted several months, filled with anticipation and reflection on the incredible experiences we had on Mars. Thank you, Captain K, for taking us on this extensive and captivating journey to Mars. Your vivid descriptions and insights into life on the Red Planet have left us in awe. We appreciate you sharing your remarkable experiences with us today. It has been my pleasure to share these experiences with you. Exploring Mars was a life-changing endeavor, and I hope it sparks curiosity and inspires others to delve into the mysteries of our universe. Let's delve into the details of your extraordinary journey. Can you provide us with insights into the Earth Defense Force and its role in protecting the Martian colonies? Certainly. The Earth Defense Force is a multinational military organization dedicated to preserving the safety and well-being of human colonies on Mars. For 17 years, I served as part of this force, ensuring the security of the five colonies. 
Could you shed some light on the main colony, Ares Prime, and its unique characteristics? Ares Prime, located within a crater, serves as the primary human settlement on Mars. It's an incredible engineering and infrastructure accomplishment, providing a secure habitat that shields inhabitants from the harsh Martian environment. Life on Mars is challenging, but Ares Prime exemplifies our resilience and determination to thrive on an alien planet. Your encounters with extraterrestrial species have fascinated the world. Can you describe these native beings and their interactions with you? During my time on Mars, I had the privilege of encountering two distinct extraterrestrial species. One displayed a reptilian appearance and territorial behavior, while the other possessed insectoid features and remarkable defensive abilities. Interacting with these species was awe-inspiring and a testament to the diversity of life beyond Earth. Your training on Saturn's moon, Titan, and other celestial bodies is an intriguing aspect of your journey. Can you provide insights into the preparation process? Training for this mission was rigorous and comprehensive. We underwent intensive programs on Titan, the moon, and in deep space, equipping us with the necessary skills and knowledge to overcome the challenges we would face on Mars. The training ensured our readiness for the unknown. Your story finds support in the testimonies of others involved in Mars' mission. Yes, the testimonies of others who have been involved in Mars missions provide additional support to my experiences. Individuals like Michael Relf and Laura Eisenhower have also shared their involvement in Mars missions, adding credibility to the broader narrative. It is important to approach these accounts with an open mind and consider the possibility that there is much more to learn about the mysteries of Mars. The idea of extraterrestrial species coexisting with human colonies on Mars is both intriguing and thought-provoking. In your opinion, what could be the motivations behind keeping this information concealed? Speculating on the motivations for keeping such information concealed is a complex matter. There could be various factors at play, including the desire to protect the stability and security of the human colonies, prevent panic among the general public, and safeguard sensitive interplanetary relations. It is possible that the truth lies in a combination of these and other undisclosed reasons. The secrecy surrounding these matters presents an intriguing puzzle that invites further exploration and investigation. We want to express our gratitude, Captain Kay, for sharing your captivating story with us today. Your experiences on Mars have ignited our imagination and opened up a world of possibilities beyond our earthly boundaries. Thank you for the opportunity to share my journey. It has been my pleasure to provide insights into life on Mars and stimulate curiosity about our universe's mysteries. Exploring the Red Planet was a transformative experience. And I hope...